Hi guys, I thought I would try um, getting in on this ASMR sensation, I suppose you could quite rightly call it now, here on YouTube. Uh, you've only got to look at Google search trends and see um, an explosion in popularity among um, searches worldwide. It's been a real spike. <clears throat> uh, I've been using it to help me sleep, relax for a while now. And at first I thought it was a little bit creepy. I, I, I don't know what element of it made me think that perhaps it was some of the videos I saw at first. But quickly, quite quickly, I realised that this was actually really, really useful um, to me and to many other people. Um, helping relax. And some people get tingles and such from it. I sometimes do, but the main thing with me is it's a sleep aid. Sometimes I struggle to shut down and it's difficult for me and that sometimes to um, unwind and I find that really helps. So I thought I would, as I say, join in the ASMR sensation and add some of my own words to the um, massive content really that's already out there. I'm not creative enough really to be doing videos of opticians. Sorry, that's the desk. Um, cranial nerve examinations. But I thought I would just come here and talk. straight down the line. Um, so I thought I would talk about things that interest me. So I will today discuss the new film Star Trek Into Darkness. Now a lot of people really enjoyed it. Some people really didn't enjoy it. It's, it's be said of many things. Myself, I didn't think it was good, but I didn't think it was bad. So it, I felt it was too safe. Um, now I should say here, if you haven't seen it, spoilers lie ahead. So if you don't want anything ruined, perhaps stop now. If you have seen it, or you don't particularly care, I'll uh, discuss some of the points quickly that I felt could have been um, improved or maybe even avoided entirely. So, for example, I thought one of the key moments that stood out for me as a I couldn't become emotionally invested in it was the, and once again spoilers, the death of Captain Kirk as uh, the J.J. Abrams tried to build an emotional scene full of tension as uh, James Tiberius Kirk lay irradiated enough to have manually fix the warp core. We all know from some very uh, obvious plot points earlier on that A. Khan's blood had the power to um, to heal, basically. Um, the, some of the the build up to that section was perhaps. Just as subtle as a, a brick, perhaps. We knew it was coming. Um, 
So in this whole scene where we're building up Kirk will die, I was just thinking that he's not going to, that they're not going to allow that. It's quite clear from what has come before that this won't happen. And lo and behold, we fast forward all the three to four minutes. And next thing you know, Captain Kirk is in hospital bed. All better. With the new blood in him. So that was that. That was what part I felt, you know, playing it too safe, and uh, it, it was easy to see it coming a mile off. Um, what else? Uh, Spock, Spock T talking to Spock from the future. The cameo of uh, Nimoy just felt token was the way I heard it described by, by one person I, I'd happen to agree. Um, it felt a little contrived that they were just so easily able to get hold of Spock. And uh, he even turns around to present day Spock and says it goes against basically what I believe in. I said that I would never try to influence you and onto your path. But having said that, and then it's just like all of Spock's ethics are just flipped on the head. Um, but it just, I don't know, it felt, it felt, again to use a word token, it felt a little convenient, a little easy there. Hey, this is, this is how you need to build, be calm. Um, and how you need to um, approach things that I've heard a little contrived. Um, I felt there were some pace issues as well, the first maybe 40, 45 minutes, there was a period of intense action, followed by maybe some potentially drawn out scenes aimed at building, you know, the, the storyline, but I felt it was too long before we got to the, the meat of the plot. Um, it could have been accelerated perhaps a little more quickly. Um, I'm not quite sure. I'm not, I'm not. I'm not an expert. I don't know what the solution was. But as a viewer, I felt that it was perhaps a little bit jolting. It was everything. Then it was. Yeah, it was slow. I wouldn't say nothing, but very slow. Then there was a lot happening, and then it was very slow moments again. I don't know if you can hear that plane in the background. That's, that's really rather loud. Um, so yes, that, that part as well. But that's not to say it was all bad. I feel that the action scenes, what they were, were very good. Um, perhaps some of the most iconic moments in the film were given away in teaser trailers. So the image of the uh, Enterprise rising from the ocean. Um, I mean, the, it's not to say it was all revealed in there, but the action that is it's really, really very, very good. Um, again, the characters are brilliant. They're modern, but they, they are as they should be. Uh, from the from the original series, you know, you feel like it's it's been new and uh, refreshed characters without totally rebooting them, though it does establish itself as having taken place in an alternate universe. Uh, there is a key scene involving Spock and Kirk, which makes that quite clear. Um, so on the whole, I came away feeling as if I enjoyed it, but it's nowhere near as good. The first film. No, when there is good. And uh, I felt that there was parts where we could have played things a little, a little less obvious. Perhaps explored things a little more. Um, ultimately, as I say, it for all of the bad parts of. And if some redeeming qualities, but they 
bit more cancelled out the negativity rather than saying well I can enjoy it in spite of it was I will forgive that and you know cancels out but it doesn't push it beyond um, any more than that it's like a direct trade-off that part wasn't very good this part was good okay we're back at zero it wasn't that part was bad but that part was incredibly good so we come out with an overall positive with the two traded off against one another um, so by all means go and see it go in with an open mind but don't go in expecting it to build upon the first and be a better film because I feel it wasn't and I think I went in with expectation too high which then perhaps held me back a bit um, you don't necessarily need to have seen the first one to enjoy the second one so perhaps you would get more out of it that way um, but all in all I came away a little disappointed so I would be interested to hear anybody's thoughts and I would also be interested to hear any thoughts on this style of ASMR video uh, perhaps let me know what works what doesn't work let me know indeed if it's working at all um, I will hopefully be able to chip in now and then maybe movie comments here and there maybe uh, some book uh, reviews and recaps of what I've been reading here and there um, as I say if it's something that I, I think I would like to continue with and if people are getting something out of it then by all means I will continue where I can and um, I'll just play it straight down the middle Talking, hopefully hitting some of the right marks along the way and uh, keeping it simple. So for now I will leave you with that opening concept <coughs> and uh, we'll see where we go from here. Thanks guys.